Imam Mahdi will not declare his arrival or make himself known publicly. This implies that he will be a man imbued with great spirituality and humanity. If he was looking to further a personal agenda based on gaining political power, he would make himself known to the whole world. This is a trait consistent with ordinary political leaders who need to feed their egos in order to satisfy their desire for leadership and conquest. However, the awliya, friends of Allah, do not seek to follow their nafs or desire, but instead seek only the pleasure of Allah and work to establish his deen on the earth. His humility will also be a sign of his inner spirituality, which will be evidenced by his initial unwillingness to accept the Khilafah of the Ummah. The pious will be able to recognize Imam Mahdi. This is indicative of the fact that his leadership and acceptance of the Khilafah of the Ummah will be based on Taqwa, God consciousness, and not on his own desire or nafs. In other words, he will win the hearts and minds of the Muslims and lead them under the banner of righteousness as opposed to his military might or political powers.
Imam Mahdi will be seen performing tabaq in Mecca during the period of Hajj. He will be completely unaware of the fact that the pious Muslims will search for him and insist that he accepts the Khilafah of the Ummah. However, Imam Mahdi will initially resist all attempts by the Salihin or pious to persuade him to become the leader of all the Muslims. He will eventually, with great reluctance, accept the Khilafah. His unwillingness will be a testament to his strength of character and his spiritual enlightenment. The unique aspect of Imam Mahdi will be that he will not be elected in a democratic process, but will be chosen by Allah and, as a consequence, he will be identified only by devout Muslims. His inner light, that is to say, his deep spiritual presence, will not be apparent to those who are corrupt, immoral, and debased. Their hearts will have been blackened by the numerous sins that they have committed, that no goodness will enter it, and as a result they will be oblivious to the emergence of Imam Mahdi. Inshallah, you will see the moon behind the clouds.